Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to create these two website landing pages in Sketch. Now, just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently created a free course on how to get started in UI UX design, where I'm sharing tips and advice that I learned over the past eight years of working as a UI UX designer. And you're also going to find the source files of these Sketch and Figma and also Adobe XD tutorials, including this one right here. So if you're interested, Click the link in the description and you're going to find it right away. But now let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so we just opened a brand new sketch document and the very first thing that, that we're gonna do is uh, going to add a artboard. So let's do that uh, and let's select uh, this one uh, here, which is 1440 pixels of width. And as you can see, as we zoom out, we have our now um, website uh, base so we're going to write over here website so that we change the name and let's go ahead and let's add the logo so i'm going to write in the very logo which is going to be located in the top left section and let's increase the size of this logo right here now for this specific instance i'm going to use interfont but uh, you can definitely use uh, um, any other font that you prefer. So a font which is uh, similar and it's uh, free, it's uh, Montserrat. So if you want to try and, uh, and get the same feeling or a similar feeling, I would definitely recommend you to check it out. And now let's use Shift plus Option in order to duplicate this uh, real quick. We're going to use Command D just a few times in order to create uh, the different uh, uh, duplicates. So I'm going to write here services. Over here we're going to have the FAQ section and then the contact us. All right, so far so good. Now I'm going to distribute this uh, unevenly. I'm going to group it into one single section. Now on top of that uh, we're going to duplicate uh, the text of the contact us, of the contact us one more time. Um, sorry, I just woke up, so I'm not uh, fully there, but uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's also add a button here. So um, where is the back button now in Sketch? It used to be here, but you can definitely check, um, add it over here by using the customization tools. So whenever you want uh, a specific uh, um, a specific element such as this one which I was missing you can simply drag it and drop it directly into the sketch toolbar all right so far so good let's move the, remove the border let's make it uh, fully black uh, and let's make uh, the text uh, white and uh, we are ready to rock and roll so we're going to change the font size to 15 uh, just to make it a little bit bigger and uh, we're going to bring this one just a little bit on the left and let's try to align and now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually go ahead and add some uh, uh, layout grids so let's go under view canvas and then show layout and as you can see we have our nice layout now we're going to go under view canvas again and we're going to click on layout settings and essentially what's going to happen here is that we're going to create the different settings and um, number of columns that's totally fine we're just going to increase the width uh, quite a bit we're also going to center it so that it just spans all the way to the center let's make it a little bit bigger so yeah something around these lines could work uh, totally fine we're also going to change the color make it a little bit more subtle so that we can uh, um, actually go ahead and uh, just have an easier time whenever we're dealing with the actual grids. And let's make uh, the width uh, a little bit thinner. Let's reduce uh, the size of this uh, overall and let's center it. All right, so far so good. Now let's try and make these uh, stay according to the grid. It doesn't have to be like 100% perfect, but definitely want to have some consistency over there. So, all right, so far, so good. Now 
let's write the headline. Let's write digital here. Let's make it uh, bigger. All right, so far, so good. Well, let's make this one uh, semi-bold. Actually, I preferred it when it was bold. So maybe let's just keep it uh, as it is right now. And maybe let's add uh, just a little bit more of size, just so it really makes uh, an impact. All right, so far, so good. We're going to grab one of these tags. We're going to duplicate it, add it here below. We're going to write uh, um, a few lines. So All right, this is pretty good. And uh, now we're going to make this one bold instead. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, or add some uh, icons. So let's go over here on Nucleo and we're going to open it up. And the Nucleo is my favorite place in order to find uh, high quality icons. So let's write in check and uh, as you can see, we have all sorts of different uh, check marks and I'm probably going to go with this one right here. Let's increase the size just a bit. And let's bring it uh, more towards the left. All right, so far so good. And let's uh, <clears throat> bring this one also more towards the left. And I think uh, this is heading in the right direction. Now let's probably try and go with semi bold for these two headlines. And uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, we're actually going to add some uh, um, an input form. So enter your email, and I'm going to grab this rectangle again. So I'm actually going to duplicate it twice. And you're going to understand the reason why we're doing this in just a moment. Just bear with me on this. And uh, let's make this one, uh, actually instead of, well, we can keep it white, we're going to duplicate it. And uh, this one instead is going to be light gray. And let's uh, create uh, some borders around this. Actually, let's just write, let's get, get started. It's going to make it easier for sure. And let's go ahead, let's bring this one here. And what we're gonna do next is, uh, um, actually I think what we can do over here is uh, copy the same style maybe consider having it uh, all caps. Let's give it a shot with the transform tool. All right, yep, I think this one is, uh, is looking pretty good. And uh, we also have the enter your email right here. And then maybe you can add some, uh, some sort of like disclaimer or small text. Uh, trial and there we go all right so far so good let's make it, let's give it even less opacity overall and uh, I think this uh, is definitely going towards the right direction now one more thing that we want to add is some sort of uh, 
an element uh, that uh, implies uh, scrolling down. So we're going to create uh, this uh, mini version of uh, a um, of a mouse essentially. So it's going to be this one right here. Let's make it a little bit larger and uh, let's round the corners all the way and let's make this one darker and uh, let's also add the the line for the mouse actually before before we do that one thing we want to do is to make it smaller then let's uh, add the line for the mouse let's make it uh, two pixels uh, of width and uh, also going to change the ends and uh, we pretty much uh, got it so let's group it all together let's make it 50 percent opacity and uh, we have this opportunity right here as well so let's continue on with uh, the 3d icons so let's uh, actually go ahead and uh, I'm going to use uh, this uh, amazing UI uh, or actually 3D kit from LS Graphics, which is called Blam. Um, you can download it uh, and uh, find it in the link below. But uh, yeah, just an amazing, amazing resource in order to create uh, 3D icons, 3D objects, uh, and uh, or actually leverage these uh, 3D icons since uh, they're really, really cool in my opinion. So link in the description and now let's uh, move on and let's uh, go ahead and uh, leverage these icons. So I have them all in my desktop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to drag and drop them right here. As you can see, they're all over the place. They're really uh, big since uh, the quality is uh, high when it comes to the export option. And uh, let's uh, just go ahead over here Let's make them bigger. And we're going to start uh, and uh, test them out really. So first one we want to test out is this one right here. And we're probably going to use a combination of uh, different icons in order to really create this, uh, um, this effect of like, there's a lot of things going on and um, yeah, we just want to add some uh, some variety in uh, the overall picture. Now, one thing that they definitely want to do is to kind of like maintain one uh, um, one icon, one image as the hero. So <clears throat> in this case, it's going to be the rocket ship. And then all the other ones are going to essentially be collateral um, icons. So yeah, that's the way we're going to go after this and uh, I think this is looking uh, good so far so probably let's just change uh, the the chat one let's bring it a bit more over here but yeah overall I think this is looking uh, pretty good so one thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead under the view options uh, and uh, we're going to select uh, show layout again and uh, as you can see, we can see the preview of this uh, um, icons right here. So, all right, so far, so good. And uh, now let's uh, go ahead and let's create a duplicate of this uh, screen. We're going to give it a shot and uh, essentially try another version of this, uh, which is going to be a darker version. So let's go over here. Let's make it this uh, all white, uh, including this text and this text right here. And uh, we're also going to select the icons and just make uh, all of this uh, white. So, all right, so far, so good. And uh, let's just bring it over here. So let's try also another color, maybe purple. Yeah, that, that will do. And uh, let's go ahead uh, over here, move the fill. And uh, yeah, overall, so far, so good. Now, I probably don't want to just keep it uh, as a regular, um, as a regular fill. Probably want to give it some sort of a gradient in order to make it visually more interesting. 
So I'm going to bring this uh, back uh, all the way and uh, I'm going to use uh, the gradient tool in order to create uh, the different type of gradients uh, inside of uh, this uh, uh, dashboard. So, or actually one <laughs> landing page. So let's go over here, let's change the gradient. Let's change the, the colors as well. Let's try a combination of uh, these two. And this is already looking uh, more interesting and uh, adds a nice uh, touch uh, to the comp composition overall. We want to add also some sort of a drop shadow over here just to make the this part stand out uh, just a little bit more. And uh, let's make it uh, like this. And uh, probably going to do the same on the top one. So let's add a little bit of a drop shadow just to gather more attention. And maybe let's consider making it uh, all the way black. And uh, yeah, there we go. Let's change this to website two. And we are <clears throat> pretty much set. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, I want to remind you that you can find the source file in the link in the description and also my free UI UX design course together with uh, over 400 uh, videos that I created on YouTube over the past years. So if you're interested in learning more about this, uh, feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.